Shout out to Coca2005 for sending me this story coming out of Ann Arbor. And this story right here is another example of palm colored trying to lash themselves to the plight that ADOS goes through in this establishment. So this woman's name is uh, Shannon Blick. And she was a principal at an Ann Arbor school. And she has just been replaced by somebody else. And the person that she was replaced by is an, is an ADOS individual. She is now suing the school district for what she calls reverse discrimination, which translates to uh, reverse racism, which deeply translates to it doesn't exist. And she's suing them because she's being replaced by somebody who is black. And she claims that it's racism. So if you were replaced by an Asian person or an Indian person or a Latino, Hispanic, Arab person, you wouldn't say anything. But because you were replaced by an, uh, an ADOS individual, you now want to sue the school district for reverse discrimination. I hope they laugh her out of the courtroom with that. But let's go ahead and read this article. The former principal of an elementary school in Ann Arbor has sued the district saying she was pushed out of her job because she's white. Shannon Blick, age 39, had run law in elementary school for five years and possessed what her lawyer calls a spotless and pristine employment record before she was placed on administrative leave in April and effectively forced to resign. Hmm. Why were you placed? The question is, why were you placed on administrative leave? What did you do for you to get put on administrative leave? Hopefully, this article explains. White people have rights, said William Tishoff, Tishkoff, Lawton's lawyer. So, yeah, this is a reverse discrimination case. Right now, it's very timely in terms of what's happening in our country. See, th- y'all see what's going on? You know, it is so funny to me how Palm Color could do all his atrocities through history to black people and now they see this is the thing they are losing empire right now so now they are literally pulling out all the stops and now they are trying to use the whole racism thing against us listen it would take more than you being forced out of your job quote unquote forced out and because i don't think she was really forced out i think they're overplaying this it takes more than being allegedly forced out of a position for this to, for you to even start yelling racism on anything maybe because you started to not maybe i don't know not be qualified anymore for your position maybe there were some complaints and they needed somebody else they wanted to get some new blood in there and the person they brought in maybe has better credentials but see that's the thing with them that that also goes back to that story a couple years ago where you had that redhead chick down in Texas who kept trying to get into that school and then try to blame it on affirmative action and not the fact that she's a dummy and her test scores were mediocre at best got congress involved in all that crap to try to get her into that school and when it was all said and done she still didn't get in they said the lawsuit seeks 5 million dollars in five million dollars in claims that blick was forced out of her job so the district could replace her with an african-american principal it goes on to say the conduct is consistent with the districts and the board of education's notoriety for inhibiting and stepping on the civil rights of caucasian and non-minority administrators when african-american and minority administrators covet caucasian and non-minority administrators legitimately earned and obtained positions seniority paid job or duties well guess what White women, y'all have had a, a affirmative action work in your favor for many years, which is something that was supposed to be for black people. And not one time did you come out of your soulless mouths and say anything against it. You just took it and ran with it. Let me tell you, I do not believe anything that they're saying about this as far as re- uh, reverse discrimination and everything like that. They d- they try to latch on to anything that is with us, whether it's our good or our bad. That's why I think they many of them have a severe mental illness. Not the one that they claim when someone commits a mass shooting, 
but the one where they actually say something like this and actually believe their own rhetoric. School district spokesman Andrew Cluley said the district had not yet been served with the complaint and does not comment on pending litigation or personnel matters. While many school districts in Michigan have struggled to diversify their staffing ranks, demographic data the district submitted to the Michigan Center for Educational Performance information shows that in 2016, Ann Arbor schools had 75 administrators, 24 of them black. Which means over... 24 of the rest of them probably look like this woman right here or most probably look like her. And then it was a little mixture of everyone else. That makes 32% of the administrators in the African American. I'm sorry. Af- 32% of the administrators, African American in a district in which the black student population is 14%. The district house is diversity noting on its website in the ann arbor's public schools we respect diversity celebrate and benefit from a rich diverse learning and work environment and understand that diversity strengthens the organization but tishkoff said the district had treated white administrators unfairly by subjecting them to hostility in the workplace and passing them over for advancement so that african americans can get ahead well why does that sound so familiar That is exactly what Palm Color has been doing to black people in the workplace for decades. And nobody batted an eye. As a matter of fact, when black people decided to complain about it, and rightfully so, they told us to stop complaining or go find another place of employment. Well, to this chick, I'm going to say this to her. Stop complaining. Well, I would, I would say stop complaining to find another place of employment, but they already forced you out. So you ain't got no other choice, but, but to find another place of employment. But look at, but also look at how her attorney is framing it. So African Americans can get ahead. Basically, they're trying to say in so many words, if you read between the lines, that The only reason we are getting these positions is because they're handing them to us. We're not getting them on our own merit. Meanwhile, who was the main culprit of that college scandal that came out back into and back in March? Exactly. He says, I've had a lot of people come up to me and say it's about time Tishkoff said of the lawsuit. I would like to know exactly who are these people that came and told him this because, you know, they like to, you know, embellish. According to the lawsuit, Blick had been principal at Lawton um, since 2013 when her assistant principal was promoted to principal in another building. Filing the empty, I'm sorry, filling the empty assistant principal spot typically involved interviews and community meetings, including parents. But the district immediately installed Tania Giles, an assistant principal from another school. Giles had reported seeing acts of discrimination against blacks while in her previous assignment and she was given the spot at Lawton because the district and the Board of Education were afraid they might lose a minority administrator. The lawsuit claims. So now see see what they just said there. They're basically saying in so many words because she was facing discrimination at her other school that they just gave her a position at this school. That they feel that she wouldn't face as much discrimination. And because of that, it forces this woman out from her principal position to be filled by somebody who was beneath her as far as position goes and gave her her spot, thus forcing her out. That is a bunch of BS. Now, I will say this. Like I said, black people have faced discrimination in the workplace. That is of no surprise. But the way that they're framing this story to work in the benefit of this woman just doesn't sound right. And they still have yet to say why she was put on administrative leave. There had to be a reason as to why, but they're not saying what it is. They don't just put you on administrative leave just to put you on administrative leave. There, You had to have done something in order to get that position. The suit also claims that in April, Blick was handed a letter by Shante A. Langford, a di- executive director of human resources and employee relations for the district that said, you are being placed on administrative leave. Okay, here it is. 
You are being placed on administrative leave, paid leave of absence, effective immediately. In the meantime, you are directed not to contact any students, parents, or staff regarding this matter. Blick also was barred from entering the school where her three children attend, according to the lawsuit. So we still don't know why she was put on administrative leave. It's still kind of open-ended. Like, you don't know what the, the main reason was. Another principal told Blick the district was investigating her because a custodian at Lawton had stolen $25,000 from the school over a four-year period, and Blick was being held responsible. So you mean to tell me you got janitors working in your school, and for the four, for four years out of the five that you've been working there, you did not know that somebody who was on your payroll, that's on your staff, was taking that money and you didn't know? In the words of True Royal Family, the plot thickens. It says she was urged to resign before the end of the school year on June 30th, the lawsuit says. In May, a group of Lawton parents were preparing to attend the school board meeting to defend Blick, but Dawn Linden, executive director of elementary education for the district, told Blick to convince them to remain silent, according to the lawsuit. Ms. Blick has also been prohibited under threat of discharge from attending public school board meetings, teacher training committee meetings, which she would normally attend, meetings with parents of Lawton students, a special events involving Lawton students, and multiple other events and doings according to the suit. I feel absolutely nothing for this woman. Because now that we know that she allowed a janitor, and I'm going to say it, allowed because you should know these things, to take $25,000 from the school for four out of the five years you've been principal and you didn't say anything or you claim to not know, that shows nothing but neglect on your part. And they probably had you under investigation this entire time, and they were probably waiting to see if you would actually finally say something, but you didn't, and that's probably why they put you on paid administrative leave, thus you having to resign. So this, in my opinion, has nothing to do with you being replaced by a black person in your position. It has all to do with you just not being qualified to do your job and then finding someone else who's much better suited to do it. Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one.